What's up, YouTube? Today, you're gonna learn how to face track in Adobe After Effects. This is also known as the Drake effect as it got popularized through the Sicko Mode music video. Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys two different types of face tracking, one with the stabilized motion and two with like the security cam footage where it's something is tracking the face. Yeah, I think it's just a super cool effect and it's super versatile because obviously you don't have to track faces. You can track anything you want. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So right here, I've just got two clips from one of DDG's videos. And uh, right here, we've got the first clip where we're gonna go ahead and do the, you know, classic Drake face track right here. And on the second one, we're gonna go ahead and turn this into the security security cam footage uh, with the rectangle around his head. The first thing we want to do to track his face here is just go ahead and click on our clip and go to the tracker tab. If you guys don't see this, we could just go to window and open it up right here. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and stabilize the motion. Right here, it just created a track point for us. I kind of like to just track the inside of their nose just because it's a point of very high contrast, you know, and shadows. So it's very easy for the program to pick up on. I'm going to go ahead and get this track point and just go ahead and drag it to the inside of his nose like this. This larger box is going to be the search range. So this is going to be where After Effects is going to be tracked for that search point. Go ahead and make sure that search range is big enough, is scrubbing through the whole clip, that his nose kind of stays within that box the entire time. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead to the analyze right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play. After Effects just went through and pathed his nose the entire time. Now scrubbing through this, I got pretty lucky. There wasn't any glitches. Uh, if there is glitches, you guys can go ahead and manually edit your track points. Yeah, from here, we're just gonna go ahead and click apply and apply to dimensions X and Y. And now playing that back, you can see that it completely just tracks his face the entire time and it looks super cool. Now, one thing we wanna go ahead and do is kind of zoom it in and position it so that his face is in the middle of the screen. We can do that with the transform effect. So we're gonna go ahead and transform and drag that onto our clip. Now just going up in this effect controls, we're just gonna go ahead and zoom in and go ahead and position it so his face is in the middle. I think it's pretty good right there with his face in the middle. As you can see, we have this kind of black edge on the top and we obviously don't want that. Go ahead and grab motion tile and drag that onto our composition as well. Motion tile, you wanna go ahead and place that above the transformer. It's not gonna work properly. And here we just want the tile height to kind of be expanded. So we're gonna go ahead and increase that. And as you can see, it's kind of duplicated our clip. If we go ahead and mirror the edges though, it's gonna make it super seamless and it, like it's not even there. Obviously you guys won't have this issue as long as your subject's head is kind of lower in the clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw you guys some sauce that a lot of editors are using nowadays. This is gonna be the radial blur. Go ahead and drag that radial blur onto our composition. It's pretty self-explanatory. It just kind of makes a circular blur. Uh, it's been used in a lot of edits recently, specifically related to the Rage music videos, uh, like .com and Urban and Yeet style videos. We're gonna go ahead into this radial blur and click on the center like this. We're just gonna go ahead and make it his nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead to the amount and just set it to like three. Playing that back, it just kind of blurs out the edges and kind of puts his face as more of the priority in the clip. But yeah, this is going to be the finished face track right here. Go ahead and hop into the security tracker. This is the clip we're going to be using to kind of track his face. What we're going to do is kind of just put a green rectangle around his face. First thing we want to do is just go ahead and make sure none of our clips are selected. Grab this rectangle tool. Now we're going to go ahead and mess with the fill and the stroke color. I'm going to go ahead and make the stroke color this lime green. And the fill color doesn't matter because obviously we don't want to have a fill. Now we can just draw our shape, you know, wherever we want. The rectangle, and we're just going to go ahead to the fill, and we're just going to make that opacity set to zero. So now it's only our stroke. Now going to the stroke settings, I'm going to go ahead and make the stroke width a little bit thicker. So maybe something like 12 looks pretty cool. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually make it so it can be tracked to our scene. So going down to our clip that we're tracking, I'm going to go ahead to the tracker tab with our clip selected. And this time we're gonna go ahead and track motion. So again, it's gonna give us a track point. For this clip right here, it looks like his nose is not gonna be the best point to track. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and opt for his right eyebrow. So I'm just gonna drag the track point onto that eyebrow like so, and just make sure the range is big enough so that it completely covers where his eyebrow is going. Go ahead to the first frame and analyze forward. Now that we've got that tracking path, this is where it's gonna be different from the last face track because we don't wanna go ahead and edit the position of our background layer, but instead we wanna go ahead and edit the position of that rectangle. So we're gonna go ahead to the edit target and we're gonna just gonna go ahead and select our shape layer one or whatever you named your rectangle, hit okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply that apply dimensions X and Y and hit OK. As you can see now, this rectangle is definitely following the motion of his face, but it's in the wrong position, right? So we're gonna go ahead and fix that with a transform effect. Drag that onto our shape layer like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trim my shape layer so it's only this clip. Here we're just gonna go to that transform that we dragged onto our shape layer and just simply adjust it so that it's the right scale and size that we want it. So maybe decreasing the scale a little bit just to fit his head. You go playing that back. You can see that that rectangle completely just tracks his face and it looks super cool. You guys could just leave it here, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some extra sauce that you guys can throw on this. So the first thing I'm just gonna go down to the transform and decrease the opacity a little bit. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drag an effect called VR Digital Glitch onto this. And what this is gonna do is just kind of like pixelate it a little bit and make it look like it's bugging out. Here I'm gonna go to the distortion, decrease that geometry distortion X a little bit, and then increase that geometry distortion Y. Um, and here, if I go ahead and mess with the evolution, you guys can see that the pixels just kind of like start changing. Put in the first frame and keyframe that right here. Then going to the end of the clip, I'm just going to go ahead and mess with that distortion evolutions value. If I play that back, you can see that the pixels are just kind of bugging out and it looks pretty cool. Last thing I'm going to go ahead and do is throw on a slow shutter preset. So these are actually slow shutter presets from Mission. If you guys do want to check them out, there'll be a link in the description. Here we've actually got one called Security Camp. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on that adjustment layer. And now playing that back, you can see that it's got that noise, that grain, and that super cool slow shutter kind of laggy effect. And I think it just really ties this effect together and really sells the effect. We've got our two different face tracking techniques, one with the actual position of the footage, and two with that box around his head looking super cool. If so you guys did stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys a 10% discount. You can use code 4U at checkout to save 10% site-wide, including those slow shutter presets. And a link to those in the description below. I think YouTube wants you guys to check these two videos out right here. Yeah, that's it for me. Join the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one later.